Bringing the Rain to Kapiti Plain by Verna Artema. Illustrated by Shadowlight Productions. This is the great Kapiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains. A sea of grass for the ground birds to nest in. And patches of shade for wild creatures to rest in. But one year the rains were so very belated that all of the big wild creatures migrated. Oh. Then Kipat helped to end that terrible drought. And this story tells how it all came about. Mommy, mom, mom, I, I forget, I forget. What's a, um, a, uh, drought, 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 uh, what's uh, it? Uh, 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 a drought, Leona, a drought. Dryness, aridity, a lack of moisture, a desiccation, parchedness. Uh, I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, you don't understand, huh? Mm -mm. Oh, well, how about this, then? Uh, long time, no rain. Get it? Thanks, Keith. Well, you're well. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Okie dokie. Read. This is the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This is Key Pat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Kipat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they moved for the rain to fall down from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The, the big, big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. Plain. This is the eagle who dropped a feather. A feather that helped to change the weather. This is the arrow Kipat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. This is the bow so long and strong and strung with a string, a leather thong. A bow for the arrow Kipat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosed the rain with thunder loud. It fell near Kipat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. So the grass grew green and the cattle fat. And Kipat got a wife and a little Kipat, who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain with when black cloud shadow, Kapiti Plain. Wow, that book is so cool. Yeah. I love it when Keypat shoots the arrow into the cloud. Yeah, he shoots down the rain. Oh, Cubs, watch where you're pointing those imaginary arrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, everybody, oh, look at this. Oh, look what I just noticed. Oh, if you put a T in front of the word rain mm -hmm. in the Kapiti Plain book, you get... Bringing the train to Kapiti Plain. Oh, 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 bringing the train to Kapiti Plain. Oh, cool, cool. Leona, Leona, come on, come on. Oh, of course. You could also take out the T and put a B in and Yes. Bringing the brain to Kapiti Plain. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, and you mm -hmm. have got a very good brain, Cleo, my little picnic ham. Oh, mm -hmm. Theo. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now, Walter and Clay Pigeon look at Barnaby B. Busterfield III's brain. Okay, Buster. Let's see your, uh, uh... Brain! Yeah, brain. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, come on. Open, uh... Up! Yeah, mm. open up, Buster. We want to see if you have all your, um, uh... Marbles! Uh... Yeah! <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Open it up. Leave my brain alone! 
alone. Ray. Let's ride the AI train with poet Lisa Jesse Peterson. And two vowels in the alphabet, I must explain. explain. Put your thinking caps on and use your brain. brain as we take a little ride on the AI train. train. All aboard. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI train. Toot, toot. AI, AI train. Toot, toot. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI. AI, AI, AI. Train to to A I train to to Water in the sink goes down the drain. drain. Water from the sky, we call it rain. rain. If a bumblebee stings you, ouch, that's pain. pain. The more books you read, the more knowledge you gain. Pain. All aboard. A I A I A I Gain. Pain. Pale. Nail. Snail. And now, Timeless Classic Masterpieces presents another chapter from that saga of the sea, Moby Duck, in which Captain Ahab, with the crew of the good ship Peapod, continues his endless search for Moby the Great White Duck. Call me scatterbrained, but I maintain that the duck is as close as paint on a paintbrush. Methinks our long search will soon be over, Ark. Do you see him, Mr. Starbuck? Do you see the duck? Nay, Captain Scatterbrain, all I see is the sea. And the seas be rough, arg. Wait, Captain, there she quacks. Moby, the great white duck. Arg, at last. Nay, Mr. Starbuck, that not be Moby, the great white duck, arg. Arg. No? Arg, no! Look. See the print on screen there? S-N-A-I-L. The letters A-I in the middle make the sound A. Snail. That be Daisy, the entertaining white snail. Arg. Arg. I be sorry, Captain. All this is a pain in me brain. Well, like I always say at the end of every chapter... Snap out of it, matey! Moby, the great white duck, be near, very near. Methinks our search will soon be over. Arr! Yes. 
trains by Elaine Ainsley Twain. Why do we need Elaine Ainsley Twain's train book? Because we're going to take a Twain, I mean train, out of this book and put it into the Bringing the Rain to Capiti Plain, I, I mean plain book. And it's going to change to... Bringing the train to Capiti Plain. Oh, yeah! Correct, yeah. Mundo. Yeah. Now, all we have to do is pick the train. Oh, the train. Oh, I like that one. That one. <gasps> oh, me too. It's perfect. Yeah. Quick, mouse entering. Would you please drag and drop this train into that book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this one of those things I shouldn't be doing because it will turn out badly in the end? <laughs> you worry too much. Yeah, you worry too much. Anyway, it was Dad's idea. It was Dad's idea. Very well. <laughs> Bringing the train <laughs> to <laughs> Capiti <laughs> Plain. Yeah. <laughs> Just completed. Applause for a mouse. Anything else I can do for you, Lionel? Mm, no, thanks. No, uh -uh. oh, wait, 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 wait. There is one more thing. Huh? Eh? Huh? Drag and drop us into the train. <laughs> eh? 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 You eh? are a genius. Dragging and dropping. Roll the bird! Can you drive this thing? Sure, how hard can it be? It's only an illustration. This is the great Capiti Plain. All fresh and green from the African rains. And this is the train that caused such pain on that terrible day on Capiti Plain. Pain? This is the spark from the smoking train oh. that started the blaze on Capiti Plain. I'm sure I smell smoke. There! What? what? Over here? I thought it was my breakfast, but, uh... What's that train doing in the book? <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> Dad. Click! Mouse entering yet again. Click! Get that train and those cubs out of the book! Pronto! Executing command! Yeah! Oh, 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 Lionel! Oh, Leona! Oh, oh, Lionel! Yes, completed! Applause for Mouse! Oh my God. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're okay, but Capiti Plane's on fire! Yeah, what? yeah what? it's a blaze! A blaze! A blaze? Uh, one of those things I shouldn't have done because it turned out badly in the end. Oh. <laughs> air. 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 <gasps> Hair. 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 <laughs> Hair. Fair. Fair. Rail. Rain. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, number 2,498, Cliffhanger and the Rain. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't. Hold on much longer! Suddenly, it begins to rain. 
And rain? And rain! Clip strains to reach into his backpack and soon obtains his trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. Hmm. Brain? Grain? Ah, here we are. Rain. If it rains and rains and rains, don't complain. Jump into the water. I can't complain. Is this it? Has Cliffhanger finally gained his freedom? Oops. Look, a chain. A dream. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. And now, from Sister Sybil's Sensational Club Sassafras, the sibilant song stylings of the sultry Miss Clear Lion. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to sing you a little song about a very special letter that can do a very special thing. It makes a lonely lion two lions. It makes one little laugh a lot of laughs. Yes, wouldn't it be hard to imagine a world without an S? The bees would be one lonely buzzing bee. The trees would be one little bitty tree. And who'd ever choose one shoe instead of shoes? Can't even have two without an S. One hair on your head instead of hair. One chair in your house instead of chairs. One stick, no bunch of sticks. One brick, no pile of bricks. One chick, but no chicks without an S. Yes, more than one. Turn toy to toys and turn a friend into friends. When there's a lot, I'm glad we got the letter S to stick right on to the end. One single little rose becomes roses. One solo little nose becomes noses. When one becomes two, that S comes shining through. Even the blue. Yeah, even the blues would be blue without a name. <laughs> Just an illustrated file. Now go the other way. Get back in here, you. There is no danger now to the, the library or its patrons. Go go Remain go calm, go citizens. Go All is well. Go go she go said it's go just another way. Get back in here, fire. you. Now look, I told you monkeys to go the other way. Now move, 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 move. Now get that hose and that book and turn on the water. No, no water. You'll ruin the book. Oh, well, look, can't you see it's not a real fire? That's an illustrated fire. Right, man. Let's go get the illustrated hose with the illustrated water. Lionel, <laughs> what's going to happen to Capiti Plain? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Leona. Dad, what's going to happen to Capiti Plain? No, I don't know, Lionel. Cleo, what is going to happen to Capiti Plain? There's only one way to find out. Let's read the book. All Come right. on in, Cubs. Oh. Here's right here. Hope everything's all right. This is the fire that burns on the plain, caused by the spark from the smoking train. This is Pat, who watches his herd as he stands on one leg like the big stork bird. And he watches the flames as they burn nearby sending clouds of smoke up into the sky. 
where a big dark cloud, all heavy with rain, shadows the ground on the PT plane. I know what's gonna happen. What? An eagle is going to drop a feather. Capat's going to make an arrow, and then he's gonna shoot down the rain, and the rain will put out the fire. No, 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 because I saw the eagle fly away. Capat won't have a feather to make his arrow. We got a... Uh, Feathers? Uh, yeah, lots of... Uh, Feathers! Oh, 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 hey. Walter. Yes? Are you willing to sacrifice one of those feathers to save a book? Uh, well, uh... uh... Sure. Sure? Uh, mm. Yeah, sure, why not? Right. Excellent. Okay. Oh, wow, you could have sure grabbed a loose one. Yeah, 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 come on, come on. <clears throat> uh, this is the pigeon who, who gives a tail feather. A feather that helps uh, to change the weather. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, click. Click. Entering yet again. Aha, uh -huh. click. Feather into book, please. Executing command. It falls near Kipat, who watches his herd as he stands on one leg like the big stork bird. And he watches the flames as they burn nearby, sending clouds of smoke up into the sky, where a big dark cloud, all heavy with rain, shadows the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the arrow Kipat puts together with a slender stick and a pigeon feather. Look at the shot that pierces the cloud. It loosens the rain with thunder loud. And while Kipat watches the falling rain, it puts out the fire on Kapiti Plain. So the grass grew green and the cattle fat. And Kipat got a wife and a little Kipat, who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain. When black clouds shadow the PT plane. The end. A happy ending! Yay! Yay! Happy ending! <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy ending. Oh, 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 <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, hmm? it all goes to show you. It... Mm. What does it go to show you? <laughs> you have to be careful when you introduce technology into an ecosystem or a book for that matter, because it can disturb the balance of nature and the plot. Right. Huh? Sometimes, if you're not careful and you change things, they can get pretty messed up. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah I, I was just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we ought to thank the real hero of the hour, Walter Pigeon. Oh, huh? yes. Yes. Yeah, without whose feather, we could not have saved this precious book. Yeah, <laughs> Yes? You're a... Uh, Pigeon? Uh, no! A hero! Hey, mm. I'm a hero! <laughs> <clears throat> and I have one thing to say. Yes? yes. Ouch! Each! Ouch! Oh! Ooh, that smarts! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah, you did a good thing. You saved a book. Mm. I must say, it's hard for me to admit, but... Walter Pigeon, you did a great service to this library. I wish there was something I could do for you in return. <gasps> hey, there is. Uh, you can show us your... Uh, uh... Brain! Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very well. As a reward, you may see my brain. Oh. Wow, Clay, hey, 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 look at the... Uh, that? Uh, yeah, hey, Buster hasn't lost all his... Uh, 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 Marbles! Yeah. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey, get out of there! What are you doing? Hey, now that's a beauty. Mm. Wow, hey, let's go play with it. <laughs> hey, 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 come back here with my marble! Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Games and stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org, or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Hi, Bahamen! Hi, Leora! Hey, 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 can you guys be my designated readers? Sure, Leora! Yeah. I have a book about a dog. So do I. So do I. Oh. Yo, who took the dog books out? <laughs> <laughs>